What's up guys, this is Danny Matrango with Mind Pump TV. Today I'm super excited to share with you some of my favorite tips and tricks that I picked up along the way in my years of training. Stuff that's really helped me and helped my clients see success and progression inside and outside the gym. Let's get into it. Straight arm pull down is one of my absolute favorite lat exercises. Part of the reason I love it so much is it's super versatile and you can put it in a variety of different places throughout your workout. It works as a fantastic warm up for the lats to really get them firing and help you feel them over some of the other back muscles like the lower traps, upper traps, rhomboids, things like that. It works great as a standalone exercise and it's really great as a finisher. The things you gotta know regarding technique, execution, and the nuance are super critical for performing it right and really getting your lats to fire up. Let's get into those right now. Setting up the straight arm pull down on a cable, for 90% of people, I'm gonna actually have it at the highest setting. Just so you get the greatest length and stretch out of the lats. If you're somebody who's maybe a little bit shorter, under 5'5", five five, you might wanna drop it, but for most people, just go ahead and set it all the way up at the top. For the attachment, I'm gonna use one of two. For today's video, I'm using the ropes. Sometimes you can use a straight bar. It really depends on, again, the length of like your torso and your clavicle, how wide you are. If you have a relatively wide clavicle, you might be able to feel a straight bar more. If you're a more narrow person, you might do better with the rope. Again, it's not too big of a difference, but it's something you guys should be aware of. As for setup of the body, or mechanically speaking, what I want you guys to do is grab the weights, or grab the rope in this case, right, with your hands and thumbs pointed up. Step back, put your weight in your heels, right? This is gonna allow you to get a great forward stretch of the scapula, and you'll actually feel your lat stretching from this position, and this is ideal, because when we're training a muscle for hypertrophy, the greater stretch and contraction we get, the more muscle fibers we're gonna work, the better the exercise can be performed. So. From this position, keeping my torso in one position, I don't want you flailing. All I want you to do is act like you're cross country skiing and pull these rope handles towards your back pockets. Only using the lats. The lats and maybe a little bit of the triceps, some rear delt possibly are really the only things you can use in this position to move this weight. So think about biasing the lats, pulling through your pinkies, like you're skiing, flex your lats, and then let your lats catch at the bottom and let it back up with your lats as well. So a few reps, like in a more up-tempo actual speed would look like this. And again, you could use a straight bar if you were more comfortable. This is how I like to do it on the rope. And I found personally for both myself and my clients, the rope is slightly preferential for really feeling the lats. But again, it's something I recommend you play with. Just so you guys can see this straight bar and how you set up for the straight bar, in case you do have a little bit of a wider torso and you want to use this, set up super simple. What I want you guys to do is grab the bar, uh, the bar right at the bend, okay, so that your uh, thumb and forefinger go right around it. From here, I actually like to kind of keep an open palm. I don't like to grip it super hard. I like to keep an open palm and push through the knife edge of my hand. So the outer side by my pinky. Step back into position and I like to push through here. You don't need to go crazy heavy. Again, making sure that I get that full stretch and I still use that ski cue, that cross country ski, pull the bar towards my back pockets. I find that setting up that way and pushing here kind of cueing internal rotation actually helps my lats pick up a little bit more. Something you can definitely play with if you don't love the rope attachment. In terms of prescription and applying the straight arm pull down and kind of inserting it into your program, like I said earlier, I love it at the beginning of a back routine to get my lats engaged, to get them firing, to get them turned on. That's so critical. And a lot of trainees who are really looking to build their back have a super hard time connecting with their lats altogether. They're biasing it, using biceps, upper trap, lower trap, things like that. So when they're pulling, whether it be a row or a pull down of any type, they're not really hitting their lats. If you're somebody who has a hard time feeling it, I would recommend starting with three sets of 12 to 20 straight arm pull downs, the really light weight to start to feel it. If you don't have any problems hitting your lats and you just wanna to continue to develop them, feel free to use it in the middle of your routine after your heavy pulls. Um, as an accessory exercise, any repetition range will work fine there as well. It also works nice as a burnout to really kind of shine the lats up, polish it off, 
and you can toss it in at the end with some high rep stuff. It's a really versatile exercise and where you put it should be specific to your goals. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. We really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We comb through the comments all the time looking for directions to take future videos and to answer any questions you guys might have about technique and execution of the video. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.